solve this polynomial equation, where, x is a real number. By inspection, x equals 1 satisfies the equation. When x equals 1, the left-hand side of the equation, equals 1 minus 2 all cubed, plus 1 minus 2 all squared. Which is equal to, negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. Which equals the right-hand side of the equation. So x equals 1, is a solution. Are there other solutions? If so, how to find them? If not, how to prove there are not other solutions? This is a polynomial equation with a degree of 9. Because we have already found, x equals 1 is a solution. So by long division or synthetic division, solving the original equation can be reduced to, solving a polynomial equation with a degree of 8. Then the rational root theorem provides a way, to identify potential solutions of the polynomial equation, with a degree of 8. However, solving a polynomial equation with a degree of 8, is not an easy task as well. So we will check whether there are other solutions first. The left-hand side of the equation has two terms, x cubed minus 2 all cubed, and x squared minus 2 all squared. For all x being a real number, x squared minus 2 all squared, is always greater than or equal to 0. If x is greater than the cube root of 2, then x cubed minus 2 all cubed, is greater than 0. So when x is greater than the cube root of 2, none of the two terms on the left-hand side of the equation, is less than 0. x cubed minus 2 all cubed, is greater than 0. And x squared minus 2 all squared, is greater than or equal to 0. So the left-hand side of the equation, is greater than 0. Hence, there are no real solutions, when x is greater than the cube root of 2. If x is greater than 1, and is less than or equal to, the cube root of 2. Then 2 minus x cubed, is greater than or equal to 0, and is less than 2 minus x squared, which is less than 1. As 2 minus x cubed is greater than or equal to 0, and is less than 1. So 2 minus x cubed all cubed, is less than or equal to, 2 minus x cubed all squared. As 2 minus x cubed, is greater than or equal to 0, and is less than 2 minus x squared, which is less than 1. So 2 minus x cubed all squared, is less than 2 minus x squared all squared. This implies that, x cubed minus 2 all cubed, plus x squared minus 2 all squared, is greater than 0. So the left-hand side of the equation, is greater than 0, when x is greater than 1, and is less than or equal to, the cube root of 2. Hence, there are no real solutions, when x is greater than 1, and is less than or equal to, the cube root of 2. When x is less than 1, then x squared minus 2, is greater than x cubed minus 2. And x squared minus 2, plus x cubed minus 2, can be written as, x cubed, plus x squared, minus 2, minus 2. x cubed, plus x squared, minus 2, can be written as, x minus 1, times x squared, plus 2x, plus 2. When x is less than 1, x minus 1 is less than 0. x squared, plus 2x, plus 2, can be written as, x plus 1 all squared, plus 1, so it is always greater than 0. So x minus 1, times x squared, plus 2x, plus 2, must be less than 0. Then minus 2, so still less than 0. The above two inequalities imply that, negative 2 minus x cubed, is less than x squared minus 2, which is less than 2 minus x cubed. This is equivalent to, the absolute value of x squared minus 2, is less than 2 minus x cubed. Square both sides of the inequality, we have, x squared minus 2 all squared, is less than 2 minus x cubed all squared. As x is less than 1, so 2 minus x cubed, must be greater than 1. So 2 minus x cubed all squared, is less than 2 minus x cubed all cubed. Which implies that, x squared minus 2 all squared, minus 2 minus x cubed all cubed, is less than 0. As negative 2 minus x cubed all cubed, is equal to, x cubed minus 2 all cubed. So we have, 
x cubed minus 2 all cubed, plus x squared minus 2 all squared, is less than 0. So the left hand side of the equation, is less than 0, when x is less than 1. Hence, there are no real solutions, when x is less than 1. So we have proved that, the equation has no real solutions, except that x equals 1. Therefore, x equals 1, is the only solution.